and welcome to a bonus episode of The New Marketing Show. And thanks for catching us on Instagram TV, YouTube, on our website, wherever you're catching this video content. So today, with this being college graduation season, and there's a lot of graduations going on, a lot of family members and friends who have kids who are graduating, et cetera, et cetera, I wanted to just give a couple of pieces of advice or anybody going into the working world, especially as a creative or as a marketer or in the ad world. So a couple of things that I wish that I had been told when I was out of school and first working with people and working, I guess, being getting into the work world. So one, work for companies that you align your values with. Partner up with clients, partner up with agencies, partner up with wherever you take the job. Make sure that you align with the culture. Make sure you align with their values and make sure you align with their ethics. First of all, that's the first thing to say. From there, make sure that you can have a little bit of fun doing whatever you're doing. You know, work is a grind and although I love what I do and although I work a whole lot, it's still a grind at times. You know, there's still a lot. There's a lot of pressure to get things done. There's a lot to do. So make sure you're having some fun on it. Now let's get to the good stuff. Three, find a mentor, whether it's within your company from your school, maybe it's a parent, maybe it's a family member, maybe it's a friend's parent. In my case, it was uh, my best friend Matt's father, Sam Kritzstein, very instrumental in my career. Later on in life, you know, I latched on to good people like Francine Hardaway, uh, Chuck Reynolds, Josh Deering, Scott Yako, you know, all of these guys who became my best friends. And let them mentor you. <clears throat> let them teach you about the stuff that they know that you don't know. Also, don't let age be a difference. Now, some of these mentors may be much older than you. Some of them may be much younger than you, as in my case, in most cases. So make sure that you're open to listening to them and latch on to somebody who is willing to take you under their wings and say, hey, I made that mistake. This is what I did. You should probably do it this way, and you're not going to experience all the pain that I did. And then also it's going to get you out of your own echo chamber of either your company or within your social circles and your family to where you can really start to collaborate and get some good ideas to get some shit done. Don't be afraid to be collaborative. Don't be afraid to tell people your ideas. Don't be afraid that people are going to steal your ideas when you tell them. Don't worry. You know, we had a saying at Gang Clank, don't worry about people stealing your ideas. They're working on ones that are better. So just take that to heart. And then lastly... What I really want people to understand is you are not your job. There's way more to you than what you do. So make sure that you can work on fun projects. Make sure that you can go out there and pursue other interests. Make sure that you can, you know, go ahead and leave, live a very happy, you know, work blend life that we always talk about. I strive for work blend. I never strive for a work life balance because it's impossible. So with those things, you know, make sure you're working with people who align with you. Make sure you're able to have a fun culture where you're working. Latch on to mentors and also make sure that you pursue other interests. So best of luck. And if you ever need anything, please let us know here at Trinity Web Media. And we can point you in a direction with some of our content and some of our things that we've experienced. So thanks. Take care.